Yeah. And now to an update on the couple from Clarendon who woke up and found a hate message on their front porch. Pro News 7's Travis Ruiz caught up with the couple one month later. Travis? Lisa, it's a month later and it looks as though the couple will have a happy ending. That's after leaving their home in Clarendon and moving to Amarillo. From the Washington Post to the Huffington Post, it's a story that got national attention. This gay couple who lived in Clarendon says they woke up earlier this month and found a hate crime on their front porch. The message says, uh, leave or die facts. It's really sad that these two men felt unsafe in the community in which one of them had, had grown up their entire life. The couple, scared for their lives, made the decision to move. It's been a real roller coaster of emotions, really. Um, going from just completely upset and not knowing what to do to having this uplifting experience of, of the entire family and community coming together to help us to move and help us to survive. It's, it's unprecedented. I've never seen it before. That's when Aldaltris Press, a blog, set up donations to help Jeremy and Joshua move, raising nearly $3,000 from donors across the country. Yeah, they really restored my faith in the goodness of humans. Saying that I was really touched when I found out that they'd raised money for us, that they'd even done that. And, and ask him, I probably cried for about an hour, like kind of giggle cry, or I don't know what you'd really call it, but it was just really touching to know that people were really concerned and that we're really going to help us. Jeremy and Joshua are now living in Amarillo, where they hope to start a new life and pay it forward. We're ready to move on and rebuild our lives here. Today on is going to be nothing but good thoughts, happy wishes, and working hard to make sure that I can help out anybody else who might need it. Jeremy and Joshua told me that they could not be happier to be in Amarillo. They also said they have received a lot of support from people all across this community. Live in the studio, Travis Reese, Pro News 7. Thank you, Travis.